In a way, viewing a miniature is like watching a performance. The scene set before you may be an imaginary world, a land far away, or the past brought to life. As you peer into the small world in front of you, you may feel that this petite reality is genuinely alive. A combination of fine craftsmanship and careful attention to the details of daily life. Things like toys strewn about, a book left open on the table, or a pie ready to be popped into the oven. Provide a foundation for your mind to imagine inhabiting the scene. But not all miniatures are empty stage sets. Some are occupied by figures. In fact, some miniature artisans specialize in creating figures. The best figures may act as an avatar. If done well, you may feel the sweat on your brow the weight of your wares, or anticipate a conflict and clench your teeth. Artist George Stewart has been making one-quarter life-size historical figures with such intensity that you may have the impression that you have come face to face with another human being. Mr. Stewart's small-scale portraits represent real people, most of whom are significant characters from history. How does he capture the personal side of these very public personas? You try to be accurate. It's taken from every conceivable image I can find, and especially from death masks, mortuary records, uh, autopsy records, Portraits if done at the, at the time of their life, a contemporary painting, a, a bust in marble or stone is the best. A painting is always good of a contemporary painting of him. Descriptions in biographies, we read, read a lot of biographies and look for the descriptions and compare them and so on. With characters uh, uh, where we have nothing contemporary and it's all apocryphal, I go by the records of people who spend their life studying that particular thing. I think they know more than I do and it's safe to take what they say as probably the right thing. But they're all from records. No, I don't make them up. Scrupulous research provides George Stewart a foundation for shaping an encounter with history that feels like a meeting with an individual whom you've only read about in history books.